really don't like that I have to refresh my window every time I start up the stream. That's really fucking annoying. I'm not a fan of that. One fucking bit. I am not, I am not, I am not. Anyway. Where's my controller? There it is. It's time for more Harmony of Dissonance. Where was I? Okay. I am trying to remember where I was going to go next. I'm pretty sure that I need to go back to the skeleton caves. in Castle B. But if I want to get there, I gotta... Yeah, I gotta go back through the teleporter. I'm gonna have to do some, like, extreme backtracking to get where I need to be. Sat there and took it. You can try. Have I already tried to go up the tower? Yes, I have. I don't remember how to open that door. You know what? I'm actually gonna re equip this, because I only need the crushing stone to break the magic blocks. Enjoy falling down. That's one of my favorite things. <clears throat> All right, so I need to go back up. Now that I have tools at my disposal, I can reach places that I could not reach before. took me to the sky walkway, so I'm in Castle B again, because that whole leg of Castle B is a little bit inaccessible from where I was. Good, I get to fight Harpies again. Ultimate favorite enemies collection.
this area I probably should have kept the axe for. Like, this, the, the axe would be extremely good. But just the way sub-weapons work, I would rather just hold on to, uh... <sighs> Yo, what's up? Welcome to the stream. to uh, watch me be bad at Castlevania, you won't be disappointed. Not even a little bit. But, uh... Like I was saying, um... I don't know, I, I kind of like the way Portrait of Ruin handled sub-weapons, where they were just a thing you could equip. If they kind of took from the, uh soul system a little bit in Aria of Sorrow and Dawn of Sorrow, where everything was just abilities. That was pretty nifty. I liked that. <clears throat> like this, insert this Circle of the Moon and Symphony of the Night keep, like, the old sub-weapon system from, like, the classic Castlevania games where you just grab shit uh, from candles. I really hope I am remembering how to do this in the right order. I don't even remember that there is specifically a right order at this point in the game, because I think this is where the game kind of opens up a little bit. So I can just kind of do shit in whichever order I please. Because I don't remember how to get to the center of the castle, actually. That is one thing that I do not recall. Oh. I like how I was literally just talking about how I didn't remember how to get to that part of the castle, and I accidentally stumbled into how to get to that part of the castle. Amazing. Yeah, I'll equip it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need that equipped anyway. If I remember correctly, you need to have both of those bracelets equipped in order to fight the true final boss. Which I will explain when we get to that point in the game. You know, Castlevania secret ending shit. That's just how it be. Cause I'm, n now I know I can go over there, but I'm like genuinely curious, like... How much can I get to? <laughs> oh, excuse me. You know what? It's probably a better idea for me to just go straight for, um, the castle center. Honestly. Because I know there's stuff late in the game that I need, like, the super jump to get, and I definitely don't have that yet. I wonder if that person who popped in here popped in here because they fucking thought I was GameCube and fries. I might need to talk to Clam about that the next time they're in here. Like, it's funny. It's funny for like trolling and shit, but when you got people confusing me for you because you're you got a name that's like you made a, a name similar to mine for the sake of trolling me in a chat, which is funny, but... Uh, I don't really think it's funny if you're, like, actually streaming with that name. 
Because people are going to get confused and think that I'm you, which is not the case. I feel like that's what happened, actually. Possibly. So I might have to have a little chit-chat the next time they show up, like, yo, like, funny jokes are fun and everything, but... Oh no, I'm not, like, knocking him for, uh... I'm just saying, people might get confused, that's all. I'm not, like, mad. I'm definitely happy that, um... I seem to have, you know, some new people in here because of him. Did I already go this way? I did. I can imagine the door's probably on both sides. stream. We're doing some some nice good old harmony of dissonance tonight. Uh, just making some accidental progress by stumbling into rooms and remembering where things are. Because I, I was talking about it a little bit the last time I streamed this. This this was always, like, to me, one of the more, like, weird, like, kind of secret-laden Castlevania games out of, like, the ones that I used to play on, like, GBA and DS. Because Aria of Sorrow was a lot more straightforward, and the DS games even more so. Although I think the DS games are, like, generally better than the GBA ones. Not to knock the GBA ones at all, though. They're definitely really good. Especially this one. I really like Harmony of Distance a lot. How old Maxim's Brave was above head? Yep, it sure is the Infinite Dash Castlevania. Um. Whip. I'm gonna need that fucking Crushing Stone again. And unequip it immediately, because I want those delicious, delicious stats. I don't want that, though. I don't want the curse effects. I'm, I'm going full Holy Water Boy this run. I don't remember how to break that. I'll rem oh, cool, another... another whippity warp point. Yeah, I, I like Arya, but I... Th my heart belongs to this one. Like, Aria, I have, like, level design issues with. Although I won't deny that it's a cool game, for sure. Oh yeah, I forgot this dude just sends, like, tiny devils after you. Uh... uh. You can also kind of abuse your invincibility frames a little bit with the spell books. Which is, you know, some good cheese. Oh, that was cool. Oh, that was also very cool. 
Take good damage. Juiced. Oh, he's getting mad. He's starting to do his attack. I... I've been alright. Oh, God. I'm around. Jesus, I might actually have to use a potion in a second! Yeah, if this dude touches me again, I'm probably gonna die. Stain reveal. Oh, are you talking about the uh, release window? Because, yeah, that's nice. That's definitely nice that um, there's actually a release window for Bloodstained. I'm happy about that. Maxim's having an episode, so he's not here. <laughs> well, so much for that. Oh, don't- no, I don't want to drop that. Max up. Okay. Cool shit. Uh, if I remember correctly, one of the Dracula relics is around here, too. That will... that'll be good. God, it's so fucking... This, these, like, rays of sunlight. I really like the way this game looks. Like, I like- I just like the look of the castle in this game. It's very nice and, and, and extra gothic. Like, Aria, you kinda got your nice, like, variety hour type thing, where there's a lot of different environments, but... Uh, this game nails one thing down consistently really well. How much gold do I have? I have, a, I have a lot of gold. I'm gonna buy a bunch of high potions. Oh, he didn't do his fucking creepy laugh this time. This is disappointing. This is this is that area I was talking about earlier where I was like, I don't remember how to get here. And I just had to go talk to Maxim in a random room after I beat his dark self or something. This game is really cryptic. It's not like Castlevania 2 cryptic, but it's definitely way more cryptic than like any of the other like handheld games. Like, they made it easier than Circle of the Moon, but the trade-off was, like, lengthening the game by, um... I don't remember what the hand does. I think it's just, like, a JoJo punch. Oh, yeah, there's, like, another boss here already. Minotauro. Damn, is this dude gonna do anything? Oh. 
He's gonna. Oh, that's that was that was a good death. Well. Uh, all right then. Let's try that again. It's like it like throws out a bunch of fists or something. I don't remember. I feel like I can beat it if I can like Oh god. Oh okay. I for I always forget about that little back whip you have in this one. It's very nice. Uh, uh. That's not nice. I don't know if that was just the AI, like, freaking the fuck out. Oh yeah, I need to rebuy all those potions now. It's fun. Um, there's no Hydro Storm. But when you combo the spell, like, if, if you equip, like, I only have one spell book right now, but if you turn the spell book on and combo it with whatever sub weapon you have, it does, like, basically, like, uh, a, like a powerful, like, a different, like, kind of crash attack at the cost of MP instead of hearts. And it's very nice. I like the way magic works in this game. Oh, that's right. You just have to literally hit a damage threshold. To, like, knock him back far enough. Wow. Yeah, now that I remember how to do this fight, it's, like, super easy and I feel stupid for dying. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm not gonna die again. I'm probably a little... I'm probably, like, over halfway through at this point. Um... Oh, shit. Um, don't do that, please. Okay. There we go. Bullied the boss. Because I have half of the Dracula relics I need to finish the game. Steel tip, nice. That is the second best weapon in the game, attack-wise. So that was actually worth doing. Oh, wow, there was a save room right there. I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, and is this... Yeah, there's like a whole bunch of shit I haven't gone to yet down here. And actually, if I go back to the entrance, there's a relic I can get there, too. There's nothing else up there. It's over here. I think this actually might lead back to the entrance. And motherfucker, I don't have the fucking super feather or whatever it is in this game that lets you do the big jump. I don't remember where it is. Uh, yeah, Netflix Vania is fucking great. Yeah, I, 
I watched, I remember I watched season one, like, as soon as it came out, and then, um, a little bit after season two came out, I watched that with a friend, and it's pretty great, like, I'm definitely glad that we have an actual good video game adaptation for once. Oh yeah, I think this is actually where, um, the final boss is. <laughs> like, this exact hallway. Yep, and... You got this little doorway that doesn't open until you have all the Dracula relics. Because that leads down into the final boss chamber. Curse resistance, that's pretty neat. That would have been good for that fucking devil boss, like way back in the, in the Skywalk way. Actually, I don't remember if the Legion Corpse curses you. Yeah, I don't have any of the shit that I need to unlock these other doors. I think I'd honestly be. Wait. Door over there. Oh, that's the one I literally the one I just tried to go through. Oh man. Oh good, more of these things. Glad to see them again. Yeah, honestly, might be closer to endgame than I kind of thought. I just gotta find the rest of those relics and I'm good to go. Um. God, I fucking hate these things. Die! Our hitboxes, even. Like, I don't even know where the fuck I hit it. I don't know what. Oh god. There's like, there's like an invisible rectangle somewhere on its body, and that's how you damage it. You just gotta guess. This is a very annoying hallway. My god. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Ultimate cheese collection. Uh, where does this go again? Oh yeah, this goes to like... weird, like, crystal area. Yeah, I'm 
not huge on these poison lizards. Gotta say, I'm not a fan. Uh, yeah, this game does the whole multiple castles thing, but it does it kind of differently from Symphony. Like, Symphony just has, like, straight up, like, an upside down castle. Uh, is there a save room? No, not for a while. Alright, I'm gonna have to heal. Um, but instead of, like, having an upside down version of, like, the main castle, it's pretty much just, like, it, it's the same castle, but, like, there are different enemies and bosses, and it's- oh god, fucking damn it. Man, this area is annoying as shit. It's, I, I guess the closest thing that I could equate it to is, like, I don't know, like, uh, Link to the Past or, like, Metroid Prime 2, where it's, like, it does the whole two worlds thing, but it's not like there's puzzles that carry, well, actually, no, there are, but it's, it doesn't do it to the same degree. It's mostly just, like, oh, here's, like, two castles and they're, like, reskins of each other. And you gotta explore them both to find everything. Man, I'm, I'm getting my fucking ass beat by these things. Hello. Please. Yeah, block my magic. These things, these are good enemies. I, oh my god. What does this do? Heaven's Ring. Increases the strength of the axe, okay? Yeah, I need to get to that fucking save room, like, pronto. Oh, God almighty! Why is this happening? This area is annoying as shit. I should have bought some more potions. Fuck off! Please. Jesus. Okay, there we go. Um, not really. Like, I don't, I don't know, being under-leveled in these games isn't really a thing. Like, at least not to any real degree. Like, it's, it's really dependent more on your equipment. Um, yeah, there, that's good armor. Oh, wow. And then you just wigged out... Oh, there we go. I'm gonna buy uh, a lot of potions off of you, my dude. Like, I don't know, like, when I was younger I used to level grind in Castlevania, because I was just, like, worse at games in general. But, I don't know, playing them recently I never really have to, because when I get hung up at a part, it's like... I'll die, and then I'll try again, and I'll get past it. It's more just, like, the hallways and hallways and hallways of these fucking enemies. Like, I always forget how annoying this stretch of game is. Thank you for using that same move twice. Thank you so much. I'm pretty close to a save room, though. I'm, like, very close. I'm just... Oh, my God. Yeah, 
this this stretch. This is some. This is stale refried beans. This part. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you? I hate this. Where I can't see him! I'm just running past everything, because I'm not dealing with this shit. Fucking dumpster fire level design right now. Jesus Christ. Um. Yeah, that was pretty aggravating. I'm not looking forward to going back through all of that. I. I'm definitely not. At least I got like a life max up. Like, see, shit like that is more important than leveling in the in the, these games, honestly. Like, what what you have kind of dictates your strength more. Like, grinding can help if you're really, really having trouble. But it's not a necessity like it is in like you know R like RPGs. God or lack thereof. That's how I feel about this part. This fucking this fucking area is depraved. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah fist me. I think I found the hitbox. You gotta kinda like whack the hilt of the sword a little bit. Maybe? No, wait, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know. These, these enemies are weird. Uh, oh. I'm doing better now. I, may, I think it was just the anxiety of not having much health that was fucking me up. I've got that confidence now. Um, did I go down there? I did. And there is only suffering. Suffering and pain and horror and terror and bad. Bad, bad, bad times. I think that's... Yeah, that's just the room where you dump the furniture. I don't care about that room. I think you I think you get like an item if you fill it up with all of the little optional doodads, but I don't care enough. I really don't. Oh, flea men. The stars of Castlevania. For now until eternity. I'm, like, remembering that the game threw one of those at me, like, way earlier. Yeah, I don't like this area. The enemies here are... I don't think Konami will ever make another good Castlevania, unless they, like, really, really, really try. Like, they're like, hey, we're gonna, like, get a team together and we're gonna do good shit. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. I really do think that Bloodstained is kind of the, f the future of, like, where that's going. Um, they might do a compilation. I mean, they might do more stuff like Requiem. Like, maybe they'll do a another Requiem collection with different games on it. Which, honestly, I'm fine with that. Just, like, re-release the games we know are good. Don't risk fucking it up. Iga's got this. He's got his dudes working on Bloodstained. I really hope that it's good. It looks good. 
Curse of the Moon was really nice. Even if it was a bit on the easy side, it was a good throwback to classic-style Castlevania, and I'm happy with how it turned out. But, um... I, n I didn't play Requiem, but, I mean, from what I understand, it's good. It's basically just the, um... The PSP emulations of Symphony of the Night and Rondo of Blood. With, like, 4K support and shit. Maybe this is the furniture room and I'm a big idiot. Yeah, this is the furniture... What the fuck? Now I want to see... What is in... That other room. Cause now I... Now I'm like, well, what if it's like a health up or something important? Like that! That! Or I could just get whacked in the dick with arrows, that's also pretty cool. Oh, yeah, good. Oh, uh, yeah. That's good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, I want to see what's down there now, because I'm thinking it might be, like... You know what? Never mind. I don't want to fight these things anymore. Fucking jank ass sword ghosts. I have such a hatred for these things. Specifically in this game. They're not bad in other Castlevania games, they're just bad in this one. Ah, uh, fuck. Because, I mean, there's always the chance that Konami will be like, yo, we'll, we're making another Castlevania, and it might be good. But it could also always be another stinker. Like, there's plenty of stinky, shitty Castlevania games. Okay, this, this lizard man needs to fuck right off. How much... I swear, this had better be worth it for me to be backtracking through all of this shit again. It had better be a health up or a heart up or something and not like, rubber boots! Now you have plus three uh, static resistance! Yeah! Never gonna equip it! Oh, worthless junk items! Oh, shit! Okay. I'm gonna die. stream. <laughs> That's the last time I listened to my gut. Fuck that shit.
these things. Dropped a big nice sapphire, though. Well, that's pretty nifty. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting, you can actually sell the gemstones in this game. I need to do that. And then I'll have more money to buy more potions, so I can buy more potions and cheese more game, and win, and be good, and be the best, and not die. Uh, did I go all the way over there? I came from all the way over there before, so yeah. Fuck these things. Fuck that thing. Eat shit. We're gonna go to Bone Cave now. We're gonna fight a very disgusting looking boss fight. Cause the fucking Legion the fucking Legion corpse is fucking nasty. Hey, Rai, what's up? I'm just playing that Castlevania, Castlevania. Making that progress. Oh, fuck. Okay. I wonder if there's actually going to be any new hard enemies here, or if it's literally just going to be the same shit I fought on my first visit in Castle B. Because it's going to be funny as shit after all of the bullshit that I just... Oh, I didn't even... How did I not... I'm stupid. I'm an idiot. I'm a fool. A fucking monkey. Wow, I, mis I misread that as pornograph, and I was like, wow. Thanks, Ega. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Castle, vi Castle Vinegar. It's, uh, Dracula's re secret reserve of vinegar that he drinks. He drinks it. I'm addicted to cough syrup, I drink it. These things are so goofy. Also, I'm gonna die to one. This is like... This is, like, kind of vaguely sexual. I might be into it. Okay. Crushing stone, more like blushing stone, ooh ooh. Oh yeah, I think if I... That might actually be one- this might actually be one of the Dracula relics. I think if I break this wall in Castle A, it's open in Castle B, and there's something behind there. It's either a health up or another Dracula relic. I do not- I- I, I do not remember. I don't know if it's going to reach the point of me needing to look up where the relics are. I'm sure it will eventually, because I know there's, like, some that I, like, don't remember where they are, like, at all. Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Okay. That was high potion. <laughs> do you guys think that Seth Rogen, if he was a Castlevania character, do you think he would, um... When he killed the skeletons with the vampire killer, do you think he would grind the bones up and uh, roll them into blunts and smoke them? Do you think he would do that? Seth Belmont? Seth Rogen Belmont? <laughs> this is an extremely lewd area. Hey, thanks for the host, Valentine. Mucho appreciado. 
Oh, my butthole is on fire! Okay. Screaming streamer. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I'm somebody's favorite screaming streamer, because... I like how- I like- I, I like how every time one of you guys comes in here, it's me screaming some bullshit. Like, last time it was me just, like, yelling in- like, incoherently, and this time it was me talking about my butthole being on fire, so... Glad you guys followed. Uh, you can look forward to more quality content like that in the future. Um, I am trying to remember the secret. Oh, I remember the secret. This is easy. You are like a little baby. Watch this. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Rai. Seth Rogen would definitely smoke bones. Like, if it- if it- if you can grind it into dust and make it into something smokable, he would smoke it, no question. He would probably make a movie about it, too. I have, uh, I have an exclusive scoop on, um... On, um... Superbad 2. Coming soon from Seth Rogen. Um... I think I need to... Yeah, I need to do this. It's gonna be about skeletons. Break the bones into dust and snort it. That is also an effective means of getting high off of your own calcium. Uh... Now I'm just fuzzled. What, uh, what do? Yeah, I need to I need to figure this shit out. Uh, hmm. I were to... Hold on, I know what to do. I figured it out in my my little head of mine. I know the secret. I know the way. Calcium! I'm gonna huff the calcium deposit in my body. It's gonna be so fucking lit, you guys. Push, push. Or we don't. We're in the ca calcium cave zone, guys. It's gonna be great. Fuck yes. I couldn't have gotten that at a better time because I was about to fucking die. Oh, that's a that's a cute little fella. Skeleton glass. All right. Uh. I always forget about some of the weird ass enemies in this game. Ugh. I want my holy water back. I need it. I, 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 I drink it. I'm addicted to cough syrup. I drink it. I fucking whipped that like it was an enemy. An enemy. See an enemies. I'm almost positive there is a sea an enemy enemy in a Castlevania game somewhere, somehow. One of the DS ones. No, those are urchins. Alright, I'll be back in a second, guys. I need to pee or my bladder is gonna explode.
so enjoy uh, this uh, idle animation of his cape blowing in the wind, uh, even though there's no wind anywhere. Uh, I'll be right back. back. Oh, fuck. There we go. <coughs> wow, I've only been streaming for like 50-some minutes. It feels like I've been at it for way longer. That is pretty weird. I think, I think, just, I think he's like supposed to be, he's Simon's grandson. And that is literally the only story we are ever, ever given about him, I, I think. Um, I want to equip. I don't want to equip. It's weaker than what I have. Okay, let's go fight the boss. Let's go fight a very gross, disgusting, gaping, awful boss fight. This thing probably smells so bad. It's not a hard boss, but it looks fucking gross. I mean, honestly, not very many of the bosses in this game are hard. A lot of them basically equate to just stand there and beat it up, and it won't do much of anything against you. Cypher's Charm, what does that do? Um... 
Oh, that's nice. Speeds up the rate at which MP is restored. I suppose that is good. Alright, we're almost done with Calcium Hill Zone. Seth Rogen can finally stop laughing at us, weird. <coughs> Oh, it's a fucking Moogle! Rare ring. I think that just increases the drop rate of rare items. That's nothing, like, too, too special. God, is this gonna be another box puzzle room? It is. It sure fucking is. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um. So I need to get some boxes down here. Actually, this might be easier than I'm making it out to be. Cost potentially. I might just be overthinking it. Fuck. Um, okay. Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's try this. Let's just try dropping it straight down. No, because that leaves a gap in the ground, and I don't rem uh, If I just drop this straight down here, I'm not gonna be able to... Yeah, see, because that fucks me over and makes it so I can't um, push it that way. Is not good. It's bad. Um, hmm. What if I? Like, if I don't drop it all the way down, but I just kind of like I do this a little bit, just build like a nice bridge. That, like, that builds me a bridge, but that also leaves the problem of where am I going to push it once it drops off? Because it's like... Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't really solve much of anything. It's like, it solves like half of the problem.
gonna lie, you guys, I'm pretty stumped, actually. you oh that is fucking aggravating uh, um fucking jesus how do how the fuck am i supposed to do this i like i'm i am genuinely perturbed by the box puzzle Wait, unless I can... No, that won't work. What the fuck? Genuinely confusing me really badly. And then I. Maybe I do this? Maybe I'm supposed to do a little bit something like this? And maybe I need to. Wait, I think I'm on to something, guys. And if I just this and then and then and then and then I fucked it up and oh yeah, I don't know what to do. This puzzle's fucking stupid and garbage and bad. Galaxy brain shit do you have to be on to solve this? It's a fucking box puzzle. Cause I and then wait, wait, wait a minute, is it really this simple? Try this. Nope. Definitely not that. Uh... I feel I felt like I was onto something by pushing this one down first. You know what? Fuck this. We're looking it up. Because I am not sitting here for two hours doing this stupid fucking box pushing puzzle.
Okay, wow, it really is that easy, isn't it? So I had the right idea, like, way, way earlier, I just didn't execute it right. So what I need to do is I need to make, like, a stairway with these other boxes so I can, like, dump it down onto the other side, but far enough onto the other side that it's not, like, along the edge and I can actually, like, push it. This is so stupid. I hate this part. I really do. Who the fuck thought it was a good idea to put fucking box-pushing puzzles in Castlevania? Like, for real? This is dumb. Jesus fucking Christ. Floodgate key. What does that do? Is that a relic? What does it do? Uh. Enter the lion's cross in the cavern. Oh, that's for the fucking... that's for Luminous Cavern. <sighs> fucking hell, I am so glad that part is over. I, I, I have, like, a very specific hatred of box puzzles. And it's probably one of the reasons I don't like most Zelda games. Well, I say most Zelda games. I would say, like, half of the Zelda games that exist I'm not a fan of, and then the other half I think are pretty cool. get up here because I don't have the fucking super jump. That's neat. Oh. Dear God. Well, time to do some more backtracking. done yet. We gotta, we gotta smoke some more femurs, gamers. I'm 
mean, it's a good thing I did this area first because um, you need that key for the Luminous Cavern in, in Castle A, and maybe Castle B? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, man, I'm not pleased about having to backtrack back and forth through all of this shit. I'm really not. I'm also not pleased about having to redo all of these motherfucking box puzzles when I inevitably have to go back through this. That is not okay. There are not very many warp points in this game. They are kind of few and far between. This cave might actually be where you get the super jump, like after the boss fights. Because I think there's two boss fights here. I think you fight Talos and then Death. super jump. Because, like, once I have that super jump, like, the whole game is basically open to me, and I can just kind of finish it. I could, I could probably finish this game tonight. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be up in order to do that, but depending on how things go, we'll see. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's very cool damage that I'm taking. Actually, you know what, if I do get that shit from this area, I won't have to backtrack through all that shit. At least not in Castle A. Castle B, I'll have to, but the Castle B version of the Skeleton Cave didn't have... Oh, yeah! I like getting fucked a little bit. Just by everything that can possibly just screw me over. Castle B version doesn't have all that sliding box bullshit. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I am not a fan of uh, any of that 
that shit, really. I'm gonna go fight. I think the boss is in the same location as it was in Castle B. But instead of a golem, we fight a, that big fucking suit of armor from the beginning of the game that fell down the hole. Oh yeah, I forgot that water fucking hurts you. Oh my fucking sweet lord. Pretty sure I gotta loop around this area, and uh, that'll be around there. And you need to get the key from the skeleton cave first. Like, God, this whole this whole late stretch of game really is just like a fucking Easter egg hunt. I always forget about that. Like you're just running back and forth across the castle like a fucking madman. Oh, hey! That is fucking handy, because that means I can get to fucking Castle B and go to the, the main hall from the Skeleton Cave. That is good shit. There's something in here. The last time I said that it was a useless fucking greed necklace. Oh, medicines are cool. Pixies are pretty annoying. I gotta say, I'm not a fan of them so far. Fucking just take the witches from the other cave and make them damage sponges. Uh, all right. Let's see if I can remember where. Oh god, these things. Except they're probably not hard anymore, honestly. Yeah, no, these things are, like, dangerous as fuck at the beginning of the game, but now they're, like, nothing. I don't want that. Get that fucking Bible away from me! Is there something over here? Oh, 
Oh god. A hint card. Wow. I love those. Oh, thank you for turning around when you didn't before. That was pretty cool. Not a good room. This is not a good room. Uh, they move in strange and alarming ways that I'm not a fan of. So much cash money. Yeah, this seems like a very, like, long, drawn-out room, so the fucking the slot that I have to fit the key in is probably at the end of this. Oh, hey. Nice. Um. Now I'll buy some potions. drain the water so I can get to the boss. And now I just gotta go back through all this fuck shit I just fought through. <laughs> That's the interesting thing, is I'm usually pretty okay with backtracking in games like this, but it is causing me, like, some real fucking tummy ache pain right now with how this game is handling it. Oh, I almost jumped straight into her. Okay, nice. Uh, I guess ice fucks them up pretty good. I mean, it fucks pretty much everything up pretty good at this point in the game. But, uh, you know, good to know, good to know. This room yet? Yes, I have. And actually, wait a minute. I didn't explore that place off to the right. I'm gonna save, actually. I'm gonna save before I do that. Because I think that might be where death is. Like, I really don't remember now. Oh, yeah, wow. 
lost time. Straight up holy water would probably be really good against this dude since his weak points like low to the ground. Oh, shit. I need to stop getting hit by that. Little wiggly fucking Xehanort fingers. sure death is... I can't reach him. Oh, I will bet you fucking anything that I had to go through that fucking water. Man, this part of the game is... just has the biggest crush on backtracking. Like, I'm just fucking bouncing back and forth across the castle like a fucking ping pong ball at this point. Not even the castle, just this fucking cave. Like, I really don't remember it getting this backtracky. a lot better than what I had. Oh, motherfuck. I hate these things. I do. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them!
I get ready for like one of the most easy fucking death boss fights in the series. I say as I like eat ten hits in a row. Stay out of the way. That was that was cool. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah, just track on to me, home on to me, home into me. Sad thing is, I'm like getting my ass beat, and this is still probably one of the easiest death boss fights, like by far. Ah, uh, he just homes in on you, and there's nothing you can do. It's so good. It's so good and fair. I like how the boss fights in this game are either pathetically easy or fucking gibberish, with no in-between. trying to save my magic for the second phase, because... The second phase is actually probably easier than this, so I should just... Thank you for immediately teleporting out of my fucking magic attack. I appreciated that. Yeah, I hope you're ready for some weird shit. IMMEDIATELY GETS FUCKING RAILED INTO A CORNER AND- Oh my god. Guys, I don't think the bosses in this game are very good. <laughs> I hate to be the bearer of bad news three streams in, but the bosses in this game kind of aren't good. I like how that didn't damage me when I touched it before, but that time it did. That was very cool and uh, consistent. And it made sense. Uh huh. Do it again. Give us another one. Uh -huh. This is bad. This is fucking terrible. It's not even hard. Like, it's not hard, it's just not good. I, like, I stop to attack and it's like, no, take a hit. That was the only way I ever... That, that was the perfect way to end that fight. Just throw a fucking holy water in his face. Thank you. It's my award. Now I can stick to the ceiling like I'm fucking Spooder Man. Nope, I'm ignoring these things. I am ignoring the shit out of these things. Except for this one, because the game is literally not going to let me ignore it. This is... It literally... Okay. 
It literally couldn't move for some reason. Just the unstoppable force meets the immovable object. Man, this part of this part of the game is really aggravating me, like pretty consistently. Like I've been having a good time, and I really love this game a lot. But holy shit, guys! Like this, these these last couple parts have been really annoying. Like really, really annoying. Well, now that I have the, um, the super, super fucking jumpy jump, I can actually, like, access the rest of the game, get the relics I don't have, and finish the game. But I don't think I'm going to be doing any of those things tonight, honestly. I think I am actually going to call it in a minute here, because I feel like I've made decent progress. And then the next time I stream it, I'll probably be able to just finish it. Cause all I like now that I have the uh, fucking Sylph Wing or whatever it's called, uh, is it called Griffin's Wing? Now that I have that, like I can access like literally any part of the castle, and all I need to do is just find the last three relics and fight the final boss, and then we're good. We're done. Uh, with Harmony of Dissonance. And I could, do, I could do that tonight. I just don't want to be up all night doing this. Especially when I'm, like, already feeling kind of annoyed with this part of the game. So I think this is a pretty good place to call it. And we'll just have it be, like, a slightly shorter stream than I usually do tonight. Do, like, an hour and a half instead of, like, two to three hours. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, you guys have a good night. Uh, next time I will be finishing this game, most likely. Uh, yeah. Catch y'all later.